school football rivalry. Could that have led to this massive fire in Catawba County? Now we've been digging up details about this historic campground fire all week long. And now Channel 9's Dave Faraday has some unusual new information that we learned out of the search warrants. Well, even today we have seen families out here at the Balls Creek Campground looking at all the damage from the fire that destroyed 40 cabins here. Right here is the search warrant that talks about the fire and the alleged incident involving two local high schools. You can see what's left after that massive fire Sunday night. The search warrant says that the Catawba County Fire Marshal's Office received information that the fire may have been intentionally set in retaliation for an incident that occurred at the Bandy's Maiden High School football game. And I just can't imagine anybody that would want to do something like this over an incident after a football game. And it's just unreal. Investigators tell us at this point they have not been able to corroborate or refute that rumor, but are working with school resource officers at both schools. The Balls Creek Campground has been here since the 1850s. Some of the cabins have been in the same family for generations. We enjoy getting around and see old, old acquaintances and come to, to the revival, the camp meeting. We asked Catawba County Schools about the allegations, and the superintendent sent us this statement saying, to my knowledge, no such incident or altercation occurred between Maiden and Bandy students at the football game. And Catawba County Schools has no information regarding any evidence that has been collected regarding the fire. Lorraine Water showed us what's left of her things. cabin. She hopes teenagers were not involved. Hoping they'd find out what happened, but it, I hope it, hoping it wasn't that situation. Also in the search warrant, we found out that investigators removed five cans of ground level fire debris. I've been told that evidence has been sent to the SBI lab to be tested. Reporting from Catawba County, I'm Dave Faraday. Now back to you. All right, Dave, thank you. Now in just the past 90 minutes, the Catawba County Sheriff said the deputies have questioned several students from both Bandy's and Maiden High Schools and that they were not involved in the fire.